Hi, my name's Fred and this is my bar and these are my top 10 peanut butter whiskey or screwball cocktails. If you like this video, give us a thumbs up, subscribe on the link below and share on all your social media platforms. At the end of this video, please look for all of our other bar and restaurant related videos. Thanks for watching. Okay, before I get started, I just want to go over Screwball Whiskey itself. Um, it was created in 2018, so it's been around for six years. Uh, it has a thick and sticky texture. It tastes very sweet with a strong peanut finish and notes of caramel, coffee, and vanilla. It is made with real peanuts. Um, it's kind of more uh, like a, almost like a sweet liqueur than a whiskey. So if you're not a whiskey drinker, you're definitely going to like Screwball. Um, whiskeys technically should be 40% alcohol by volume. This is only 35% alcohol by volume, so it is considered a flavored whiskey. But honestly, if you're looking for something or you like the sweeter cocktails, this is the drink you should try. Okay, well the first cocktail we're making this evening is called a peanut butter and jelly cocktail. A peanut butter and jelly cocktail. Delicious. What you're going to need, of course, is your screwball peanut butter whiskey. We're going to need an ounce and a half of that. Perfect. Going to pour this right in the glass. And then on top of that, we are going to add our Welch's grape juice, our Welch's grape juice. And this is a 16 ounce pub glass, so we're going to probably use right here about four to five ounces of grape juice. There you go. We are going to put this in our mixing tin. Give it a good shake to incorporate. There we go. And pour out. And there you have, whoa, stay there. Your peanut butter and jelly cocktail, and it is delicious. Okay, the next shot slash cocktail. All of these drinks, by the way, that I'm making, you could drink them on the rocks, you could drink them as a shot. However you want to make it, it's your drink, it's your cocktail, do what you want. So the peanut butter and jelly at the beginning where I use the peanut butter whiskey and grape juice, you could use peanut butter whiskey and Chambord and do it as a shot. You could use the peanut butter whiskey and grape juice, put it in a mixing tin with ice and do it as shots. But all of these, I'm just switching around by the way I like them. But again, these will be your drinks, your cocktails, make them the way you want them. So this next one is called the peanut butter pie shot, the peanut butter pie shot. You're going to need your mixing tin with ice. You're going to put about one ounce of screwball in that. Perfect. And on top of that, you're going to put one ounce of your Bailey's or rum chata. Right on top of that. Perfect. We are going to shake. Give it a good take off the top and strain. And there you have your peanut butter pie shot. And it is delicious. Okay, and the next cocktail we are making is called the peanut butter apple. I know what you're thinking. Trust me on this one. So you're gonna need your ounce and a half of your um, peanut butter whiskey. Perfect. And then we are going to add the four ounces of apple juice. I prefer the apple cider myself. And we're going to shake to incorporate. Actually, I'm just going to do a good tumble. And there's your peanut butter apple. Surprisingly delicious. Okay, and the next cocktail we're making this evening is called a peanut butter cinnamon bun. Oh my God, delicious. What you're gonna need is your mixing tin with ice, and then inside of that, you're gonna put one ounce of your screwball. Perfect. You're gonna put one ounce of fireball cinnamon whiskey. Oh, you can check out my video on the top 10 fireball drinks on the link above, but we're gonna use one ounce of the fireball whiskey. Let me get that in there, one ounce. Right in your mixing tin with ice. And on top of that, you're gonna put one ounce of your Irish cream. I'm using, um, what is this? St. Brendan's Irish cream, but you could use Bailey's. You could even use rum chata, but I prefer the uh, whiskey-based cream. And you've got one ounce of that, all set. We're gonna to top this off. Give it a good shake to incorporate. Good job. And now we are gonna strain for our peanut butter cinnamon bun shot. 
Okay, Ooh. guys, before I go over one thing real quick, I did receive this for Christmas. It was a, um, super hard to shop for, so this was a super cool gift for me. It's called an Elevated Craft Cocktail Shaker. Um, it's got everything you need. If you're an at-home person, inside the top has literally a, sh uh, a jigger in there, so you could do all your different uh, sizes right in the top of the tin. It's got, uh, let's see, milliliters on that side, or milliliters on one side and ounces on the other. Really cool. It screws in. So when you're shaking it, there's no worries about anything coming off. So when you're ready to shake, it just shakes. This top piece also screws on, so you don't have to worry about that coming off. It has a built-in strainer in there, and it comes with three or two sets of extra gaskets, so if those ever go, uh, you could uh, just replace them on your own. Cool little symbol on the top, very nicely weighted. So I just wanted to point that out. It's Elevated Craft Cocktail Shaker. I will put uh, this free advertising in the link below for them. Hopefully they contact me. Okay, and this next cocktail is called a Cherry Tootsie Pop. A Cherry Tootsie Pop, again, you're gonna need your ounce and a half of your screwball peanut butter whiskey. There we go, ounce and a half. Right in our 16 ounce glass. And then on top of that, we are gonna add your four ounces of cranberry juice. I'm gonna pour this in my mixing tin, give it a good shake to incorporate. That's all you need, that's all you need. Oh, you should smell this. And there you have your cherry Tootsie Pop. And it is delicious. Okay, these next cocktails are gonna be a two for. What you're gonna need, I do have my eight ounce glasses there. You're gonna pour an ounce and a half of screwball in each one of these glasses. Perfect. And like I said, it's gonna be a two for. So you're gonna need your Hershey's strawberry syrup and your Hershey's chocolate syrup, which I've already made my vanilla, I'm sorry, my chocolate milk and my strawberry milk. And you're gonna add these to your drinks. And that one's gonna take like a Reese's peanut butter cup. And this one is gonna taste like, again, a peanut butter and jelly cocktail. Both delicious. Give them a shot. They're gonna be your new favorite morning drinks. Wink, wink. Okay, for this next cocktail, it's a beer cocktail. I'm gonna get a, a shout out to Wall and Paul Pack Brewing Company, my new place of residency. So you can see we have our uh, Wall and Paul Pack Poppy the Elf Peppermint Porter. We're gonna be adding our screwball to that and it's gonna be like a peppermint Reese's peanut butter cup. You can also use a chocolate porter when doing this and it tastes like a Reese's peanut butter cup. I prefer the peppermint porter because uh, it's right after the holidays and I'm still in the holiday spirit. So we're gonna use about two ounces of our uh, peanut butter whiskey. And then on top of that, that's right, we're using our peppermint porter. We're gonna pour it right into that. And there you have your beer cocktail Reese's Peppermint Peanut Butter Cup. And it is delicious. Okay, the next cocktail we're making this evening is called a Screwball White Russian. A Screwball White Russian. That's right, what you're gonna need is your Screwball. You're gonna put about three quarters of an ounce of Screwball. I'm using an eight ounce glass right here. On top of that, you're gonna add three quarters of an ounce of your Kahlua. Perfect. And on top of that, we are gonna add our cream. Let me just put that down. And, and I am going to put this in my mixing tin to incorporate. Silly you, you forgot the ice. Well, we know it's already in the tin, so we just gotta unscrew that and slowly pour that in not to create a mess. And there you have your screwball white Russian, and it is delicious. Okay, and the next cocktail we're making this evening is called a peanut butter dream. 
Um, and just to let you know, with this cocktail or any of the other cocktails, the peanut butter dream is going to be um, uh, the peanut butter whiskey with another uh, with vodka, basically vanilla vodka. But you could do peanut butter whiskey and Coke. You could do peanut butter whiskey and um, orange soda. You could do peanut butter whiskey and Dr Pepper. You could do peanut butter whiskey and grape soda. It works with all of them, trust me. But uh, I like being a little out of the ordinary, so we're going to call this one the peanut butter dream. You've got your Coke. We're going to need our one ounce of the peanut butter whiskey. And then we're going to put one ounce of our vanilla vodka. Perfect, one ounce. There we go. And then we're going to add or top with our cola. And I am going to tumble to incorporate, not shake because it is the soda. And there you have your peanut butter dream. Delicious. Hey, thanks for watching, we appreciate it. Again, if you like this video, give us a thumbs up, subscribe on the link below, and share on all your social media platforms. At the end of this video, which is right now, please look for all of our other bar and restaurant related videos. Thanks for watching.